What's going on, car family? I'm Ben Wayne, and today I'm with my wife, Aisha. Hey there. And today we're driving around in a 2018 uh, Bentley Continental GTC. And today we just wanted to talk briefly about the Bentley Continental GTC and the Rolls Royce Don Black Badge. We've done full technical reviews on both vehicles. And since I've received a lot of questions asking which car I would take over the other, I thought it'd be a good time to run through some of the details of each of the vehicles and talk about how they're a little bit different and how they're similar, if at all. So without further delay, let's go ahead and hop into it. So recently we did a full technical review on the brand new Rolls Royce Don Black Badge at Motor Cars of Georgia. That was a very impressive car. What did you think about it? I, I So first of all, when it comes to a Rolls Royce, I always see it as big, boxy, no speed, that's just, but it's a classy car. I just see it as like a chauffeur car, you know, something that you can just ride into town in, nothing, nothing like a, as far as a daily driver. However, when we got into that car, my first impression was the amount of space. Yeah. I was riding in the back, however, from the driver's seat and the back seat, I had full leg room. So that right there blew me away because I know compared to a Bentley, it doesn't have that type of leg room. Lengthwise is, is definitely different. It's a, the Don is actually a much larger car. And as I stated in the review, Rolls Royce is all about comfort and luxury. Not to say that Bentley isn't, but as far as the Don, they want every single passenger in that car to be as comfortable as possible, which right. is why there's so much leg room in the two rear seats. Now, when you compare that towards the Bentley GTC, I'd go as far as to say the Bentley GTC is really a two-seater car. You're not going to fit two average-sized adults in the back of this car. And I'm small and petite, and I don't even want to get back there. My legs are going to be cramped, okay? It's just... It's more of a two-plus-two configuration type car where the Don, you're able to fit four adults comfortably in this Once in again, that I'm petite, <laughs> and I don't want to get back there. <laughs> Another thing that I noticed about the Rolls-Royce um, was that it had great acceleration it in, did. In, in that model. Um, the torque in the pool was amazing. It was crazy, wasn't it? It, it really was. I was blown away because I wasn't expecting it. Another thing, um, and I'm not taking that away from Bentley because it definitely has that. Well, well, let's talk about that. One of the things you said you noticed when in the black badge was the torque and pull. Rolls-Royce specifically created the black badge models to be geared towards a younger market. So the transmission has been remapped, so it feels a little bit quicker than the traditional Don. It also has increased power than the traditional Don. I believe the black badge has... 593 horsepower coming from a 6.6 liter twin turbocharged V12. So that's a lot of power and it really makes that huge car pick up extremely quickly. Now comparing that to the Bentley GT Speed model, that car is powered by a twin turbocharged 6 liter W12, puts out 633 horsepower, but it's much quicker to 60 miles per hour because it hits zero to 60 in just 3.9 seconds. See, yeah, and me personally, I would go for the Bentley model because I don't need anything extra. Um, I, I'm not worried about the leg room in the back because if, if I'm in a car like this, I'm not trying to have a whole lot of people with me. I'm just trying to ride out. My, you know, kids aren't going to be in the back. It, it's not that type of vehicle for me. Okay. It, this has enough, enough pull, torque, that acceleration, I can, you know, put the top down. The black badge was a convertible. It was nice. It was and really nice. And we have nice. got to talk about we gotta that. we got to talk about that. Now, l l let me introduce this, okay? So, right. you know how I usually say drop the top, right? Well, in the black badge, you don't drop the top. It does a silent ballet, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you really love that terminology, huh? I do, because when you said it, and I saw it happen, I said, it really is a silent ballet you can't like hear it was a thing. it was graceful and delicate and you could not hear it now in some of the other models of like the Bentley or even other convertibles we're not going to go there but they're very loud 
They're very loud. Sometimes you know, that can... top operation can be a little loud. Yeah, and I guess for the amount of money that you're paying, I should not hear those gears moving at all. So you want complete silence. I want silence. I don't want anybody to know I'm dropping the top on them. I just want them to see that I'm you, dropping the you top. You just want to see them. <laughs> you just want people to see you stunting. Yes. Not not be heard, huh? Not be heard. So the, the soft top in the Rolls Royce is actually pretty nice. It's six layers, mm -hmm. six individual layers. So when the top is raised, it's extremely quiet in that vehicle. I can't stress that enough. The Bentley's top has four layers, so it's nice and thick as well and keeps the noise that's outside from coming into the interior. So mm -hmm. as far as being quiet on the interior of these vehicles, I think both brands have executed that extremely well. Yeah, I mean, I still would take the Bentley, but I would love to have the silent ballet in the Bentley. You like that silent ballet? I do. I really do like that. Um, and, you know, I, I, I would take the extra leg room in the back just because I could have my girls back there, you know. Well, now that they have <laughs> released or at least announced the third generation Continental GT lineup, when the convertible comes out, maybe those are some points that they will focus on. Which is amazing. If you have not seen that car, if you haven't seen the review on that car, it's amazing. I mean, that 360. The rotating display. I, can't, I couldn't get over it. I couldn't get over yeah, it. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. So let's talk about the exterior, right? As you stated earlier, the Rolls Royce Don is a little bit more boxy. Um, and the Bentley is a little bit more curvaceous. What do you have to say about that? I always like the curvy look, and I don't know if it's because I'm just a woman. I feel like the boxy gears more towards the men uh, versus the curvy. Now, uh, that's just me. I would pick the curves over the hard lines. So, so would you say the Bentley is a little bit easier on the eye from that aspect? I guess so. I guess so. It just looks more appealing mm -hmm. versus a, a square on wheels, you know? Yeah, it looks like the Don does look a little bit like a box on wheels, yeah, but there, there still is something a little bit classy about that. Yeah. Um, I know Rolls-Royce design has departed from their old ways from maybe what their cars looked like 20 years ago. Um, so if you ask me, I would definitely have to go with the Bentley as far as the looks department. Right. Right. What about the ride? We're riding in the GT now. It's a little bit more of a sports car when compared to the Don. Um, this car has a top speed of about 206 miles per hour, and the Don is you know, limited at 155. But the Don is a car that's geared toward you know, more of wafting, like you said, cruising through the town. Yeah. This I, car, you can really get on it if you want to. I think the Don beats the Bentley as far as a smoother ride. But the Bentley, it, it's kind of borderline. You know, I think I might feel a little bit more bumps in the Bentley, mm -hmm. but the Bentley has different things to offer as far as a daily driver versus that Don. Right. You well, know? But when so, we were riding in that Don Black Badge, it felt like we were driving on glass. It truly is a yeah. magic carpet ride it, like Rolls Royce Markets it has. It, 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 was, it was amazing. Right. It really was. But the GT, I'd say, is probably a little bit more for a younger audience. This is, again, more of a sports car. The suspension is more fine-tuned. It's very agile. It goes exactly where you point it. I'm going to say this. As far as interior, I feel as if both companies, Rolls-Royce and Bentley, do a great job. They really do. Um, there's no doubt about that, the design aspect that they put into the materials the wood grain, the diamond stitching, Alcantara, leather, all of that is great. Mm -hmm. So I can't even, you know, the one thing I do realize about Bentley, though, um, they definitely kind of set the bar. They, I feel like they set the bar on their design aspects of what they do. How, how it's executed. Correct. You're talking about that diamond carbon fiber dash. I sure am. We reviewed I've when never we took a look at the Super Sports. <laughs> That we, we did a full review on the Super Sports the GTC convertible and it had a diamond or a checkered carbon fiber dash. I've never seen that before. It looks spectacular. Yeah, absolutely. But Rolls Royce, again, they have different ways of executing uh, different things. For example, they have the gallery. Remember when we reviewed the Phantom 8? They had a huge pane of glass going across the width of the vehicle. Yep. 
which is fully customizable. Uh, that's something that Bentley currently doesn't offer. And again, that just shows you how each company is able to take different aspects of their cars to the next level. What about the seats of the Don compared to the seats of maybe the Super Sports that we did? Well, I think the Super Sports are more sporty, so they kind of hug your body more. What about that design? It had a triple color split. It was beluga, red, and then it had some linen in there with a diamond stitch. That was absolutely gorgeous. That was That was, that was gorgeous. It was. Um, I just feel like these kind of hug me more. Yeah. Got that side bolstering going on. Right, You know? Right. Um, the, as far as the black badge, it was just more, it's more square. Of, yeah, it was almost like a couch, right? Yeah. And that's, again, you're supposed to be extremely comfortable but, and just chill when you're in that but car. But I feel like Rolls Royce stayed true to their square look because the seats were <laughs> the square. The seats are square. And look, these are rounded. Yeah, these it are rounded. It looks exactly like the car, so... That's, That's a good point. I never even thought about yeah, that. Yeah, everything That's, in the car is has curves, and everything in the Rolls Royce does not. Wow, that's a really good point. I never mm -hmm. thought about that. So they are staying true to their design aspect, which is great. It's not like they're mixing round with square right. and curves with hard lines. Right, right. And again, it really depends on what you want. As far as the luxury features of the seats, both brands have excellent massaging capabilities. Yeah, oh, heated yeah. and cooled seats as massage. well. <laughs> heated and cooled seats as well. So everything you could imagine um, as far as from the perspective of uh, car seats in there, uh, both brands execute extremely well on. Now, because this is a convertible, the black badge is a convertible, can you tell us how fast or at what speed you can lower the top? I don't think we touched on that. So on the black badge, I know it's about 31 miles per hour that you can operate the top at. It takes it roughly 20 seconds. On this particular car, it doesn't take that much longer. Um, again, what's really nice about the black badge is the silent ballet. This top, you can hear it a little bit. It doesn't make too much noise, but hopefully in the third generation of the Continental GT, maybe they have a silent ballet of their own. <laughs> <laughs> A few more things I want to hit on between both cars. Rolls-Royce, again, that car is designed to have a smooth ride and it has a satellite guided transmission, meaning that the GPS system is able to determine where the car is located and it's able to shift the gear for you to have the optimum gear. So like we're going downhill right now, the black badge would know to shift the gear so it has the most optimum setting and provide us with the smoothest ride possible. And a Rolls Royce, you can't manually control the gears. Again, coming back to Bentley, it's more of a sports car. So you're able to manually shift each gear if you want to. And I really love that about Bentley. It lets you get a little bit more involved with the vehicle as well. And then taking it a step further, if the GT speed isn't fast enough for you, Bentley offers the Super Sports as well, which we mentioned before. That car has 700 horsepower and hits zero to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds, okay? So that's again showing you how Bentley is more about their racing heritage and then Rolls-Royce is more about their tradition of comfort and riding in style and a smooth ride throughout town. I'm not so sure if I would like that satellite GPS thing in the car. Why not? It works smooth. I understand, but we're talking about technology here. So what if something fails and I don't have control over it? I mean, I don't think that's ever happened, <laughs> but I mean, you could ask what if for everything, right? Yes. But I think Rolls-Royce has executed their satellite eight-speed automatic transmission extremely well. You rode in the car yourself. You couldn't even tell. It was just smooth. It was oh. like we were literally riding on I glass. I couldn't tell, no. I just, that just, that thought is just scary because I know how much computers go out, go down, and they lock you out, and you're not able to do what you need to do. Right, but, you know, it's not like it's running off windows or something, <laughs> right? It's a reliable car that most Rolls Royces that have ever been built, for the most part, a lot of them are still on the streets today, and that truly tells you something about the brand. Yeah. The cars are built to outlive their owners, along with Bentley as well. These are truly high-quality vehicles, these aren't companies that will release a car until they are absolutely sure they got everything right. That's why the Cullinan took so long. They were testing and testing and testing that car, putting it through its paces, through different territories, going off-road, 
probably stuff the majority of Rolls Royce calling in owners will never do. But it's nice to know that Rolls Royce made sure that capability was there if someone chooses to do so. Okay. So in closing, I'm going to put the question out to you guys. Which car would you prefer now that you know that the Rolls Royce Black Badge Don compared to the Bentley GTC are two completely different categories? Which car would you go with and why? And also, if you were to get one today, what color would you choose? What trims? What's your favorite spec? What are your favorite different hides? Let me know in the comment section. Isha, anything else you want to add to this? Yeah, I'll just take this one that we're riding in right now. You like the white with the blue and I would and change it hunt? red. You, you want the exterior red? or Yeah, exterior you like red. red. Okay, because you want to be seen. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I like the wood grain, but that, that's my thoughts. I will take the Bentley. You'll take the Bentley. I'll huh? take the Bentley. Well, as usual, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.